short moments of open intelligence repeated many times become continuous. It, it's really that simple. And from there, maybe the next thought is like, like mine was. It, it can't possibly be that simple um, because I've got this issue, I've got this background, I, I'm, I can't, f I don't feel good, I, I don't feel all of the, the relaxing thoughts or anything like that. But that's the next opportunity to keep it incredibly simple. In each moment we can see that we have a choice. We have a choice to rely on open intelligence, rely on short moments of open intelligence repeated many times, or to continue on the descriptions, to elaborate on what is appearing. And so to know open intelligence, this is open intelligence, what, what's looking, what's hearing these words, what's sensing. To know it directly, we invite you to stop thinking and then see what remains, what remains when you stop thinking. What remains when all of the thoughts arise again, like I, I can't possibly stop thinking, for instance, was one of my recurring thoughts, or I, I'm, I, I really can't get this, it's too simple for me. Again, we are reminded of this complete simplicity of being human, this complete exaltation of being human, that mind is like sky. And so we, we remember that again and again for short moments. We relax, completely relax, again and again for short moments, allowing all of the thoughts, the emotions and the sensations, all of the data to flow on by, like that flight path of the bird in the sky that you saw in the video effortlessly releasing, you, you're not needing to do anything to release your thoughts. Where was your last thought? It's already gone, spontaneously released. How incredibly successful are you <laughs> at relying on open intelligence? And so we just remember that again and again and again. And I love being in Goa because it reminds me of my first experiences of this training and I did the 12 empowerments here. and. Uh, in, I did that in 2008 and nine, and I came here specifically to do the 12 Empowerments. A good friend of mine who's sitting with us today sent me a talk uh, to, to listen to spontaneously when I was in Melbourne. And I don't know, I, I remember that time as being quite challenging as, as well as being really, really wonderful time in my life. Uh, simultaneously lots of positive data streams and ne lots of negative data streams as well. And those negative data streams were, were keeping me up at night. I remember having trouble sleeping, thinking about things, just, just thinking about things. If one thing was solved, I, I would go on to the next. And I probably would think about it until it was solved and then I could go to sleep. And of course, there are just things that just continued and was, you know, the, the key topics of like relationships, uh, decision-making, careers, opportunities, all of these things, existential thoughts, searching, constantly searching, trying all of these different techniques and practices. And so this is what my life was looking like. And thankfully, I got sent this talk and also his direct experience and seeing the example of him so completely changed. And then hearing from Candice, just quietly whispering in my ears, allow everything to be as it is. Completely relax for short moments. And that really completely solved my, my sleeping for one. And then I was like, wow, what is this? If it's in allowing me to go to sleep within like five minutes, maybe I'll try to listen to it throughout my day. And so I did, I continued to listen throughout my everyday life, going to university, coming back, having all of these different experiences in my day. And there was this reminder going on all day to recognize open intelligence, to continue to recognize open intelligence, 
to allow all of the different descriptions to arise and resolve effortlessly within open intelligence, within this brightness, this power to know. What's sensing all of these things going on right now for you? And so this was so significant that I, I flew to Goa immediately. 12 empowerments, yes, when can I do it? First one was in Goa, okay, I'm going here. And I did it in 12 days and I, I wasn't disappointed. In fact, life changing to say, say the least. And I, I don't like to use those words. I'm from Australia. If someone says something's life changing, I run the other way. <laughs> and, and so I, I really, <laughs> I don't use those words often, but I can safely use them here because I, I know that's the case. And, and so, yeah, what has life been like since then? It, it's in incredibly increasing, increasing in great simplicity, but also seeing how this great simplicity has such depth and power and is forever expanding in its incredible capacity to to deal with everyday life situations so for instance one of my issues was decision making and that's completely resolved and I was just thinking about that this morning about uh, about how effortlessly decisions are, are made now and how enjoyable they are if there's like a challenging decision that comes up it's always met with I, th I feel like such joy and openness because I'm just, I can't wait to see how it will resolve. Before it was like, I can't wait to make this decision because I'm going to be totally nervous thinking about this all night uh, until I do. So I'm just going to do it right now. I don't care what the result is. I'm going to make the decision right now. It's not going to be in my life. See you later. No more decisions. Good. I can relax now. That was my method of decision making. And so... You can see how I navigated through my life in that way, may have been, come, come up against some challenges. And so now to, for instance, to meet decisions now in my life, it's, it's completely, completely changed. It's completely open in that I can allow all of the, all of the thoughts, the emotions and the sensations to, to effortlessly be as they are. There's that inherent confidence that these thoughts, emotions and sensations uh, don't need to be emphasised or, or elaborated on. They can effortlessly resolve, like the flight path of the bird in the sky, like the line drawn in water. And, and from that, there's the, the view from the mountaintop, seeing all of the different, different uh, paths or seeing all of the different uh, outcomes that could be or having just a very very clear view on everyday life circumstances on my everyday life decisions and choices whereas before really really feeling like I was in the valley amongst all of the trees not knowing how to really navigate my life and so in each short moment you can you can test it in your life today just that's the the invitation that we offer in this training is to really test it in your direct experience, to look at your own direct experience and to try out taking short moments of open intelligence repeated many times, short moments of allowing everything to be as it is, short moments of recognizing this bright, alert clarity that's here regardless of anything that else, that else is being described. That power to experience, the power to know. When we take these short moments repeated again and again and again and testing it throughout our day, then that vantage of seeing everything clearly is right here. It's available to us right now. It doesn't need thousands of hours of this or that. It doesn't need for you to be successful in your previous uh, weeks or months or years or life doing a certain this or that. It meets you exactly as you are right now with total equalness and evenness. This, this clarity of mind is right here. And so that's, 
why it's so simple. It's so simple to hear these words. It's so simple to, to see whatever images you're seeing. Incredibly simple. And, and this is the complete simplicity of recognizing open intelligence. Your incredible bright intelligence. And um, yeah, trying to get like good data in the morning or positive data streams in the morning. It, it really is like trying to, to rearrange the sky or, or to pin something in the sky and hope that it will be there in the morning time. And You know, sometimes when I was going to sleep, I was like, ah, oh, yes, I feel so, so good. I'm really great at relying on open intelligence. And then from nowhere, either a moment later or when I woke up in the morning, the complete opposite. Incredible negativity, not wanting to get up. Thinking, why me? What have I done? What's going wrong? Why am I so depressed? And the change in the nature of my relationship with all of these thoughts and emotions and sensations, it, it started very, very directly in the 12 empowerments, getting to know all of these belief systems, all of these assumptions that I had about my life, that I needed more positive thoughts to be happy and less negative thoughts. Totally rearranging uh, what I took myself to be and seeing that regardless of what arose in my experience, I I'm just perfect just as I am and I can really see the fundamental happiness and enjoyment that's inherent even in things like depression. I have to say that did take, it was gradual, it wasn't like immediately, woohoo, I love to feel depressed, but really gradually I started to see that there's the basis of this depression is bright beneficial energy. And as I allow it to be as it is, I can no longer s start describing it as r so ugly and challenging and all of these things that would just fuel it more and more and all of a sudden I'm this incredibly depressed human with years and years of depression. And so these short moments really supported me to keep it completely simple. Again, knowing that in each moment I had that choice, I could really start to see that that choice became more and more obvious, that I could, okay, depression is arising. I can elaborate a bit further about why I'm depressed. Maybe it's because I'm too hot. Maybe it's because I, I um, inherited it. Maybe it's because of some experiences in my past. I could continue on in those elaborations for a long, long time or I could take that opportunity to allow that to be as it is. And so again, that simplicity, that choice in every moment became more and more obvious. And the, the courage to, to really allow everything to be as it is, the courage to com keep it completely simple, to really see that actually I can keep it completely simple, that became more and more effortless and easy. And then we just get more and more confident with being a human being without any issues or without any struggles or in, in some ways it feels like outrageous to even say that, that uh, a human life, my human life can be without issues, without struggle, without stress, without concern. It can be worry-free and then it's like, oh, I, I need, there's so many people struggling around or I'm feeling a bit nervous to, to really say how powerful and easy my life is. Someone else is going to come and say, you're a liar or something like that. And, and so to really, it's been a wonderful easing into just the true nature of being human as flawless, completely clear and exalted and really living that, standing up for that as well, speaking up for that, seeing that I, I, I never need to struggle anymore, that all of the struggle was 
was again like trying to pin depression or struggle in the sky. We see it effortlessly resolves like a rainbow in space. <laughs>